Hey guys, I'm Tom from Beyond Examination, and today we're going to be looking at the PlayStation VR Doom Bundle, plus the Farpoint Aim Controller with the Farpoint game, plus I also picked up a few games with it. Originally I was not even going to attempt to pick up a PlayStation VR, you know, the price is a big point to make, and uh, I already had the PlayStation 4 Pro, so uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it, but there was a huge sale where they had $100 off this brand new bundle, Plus, the week before, they had a huge trade-in event, so I had a lot of money on a gift card, so I decided, heck, why not? Let's give it a try. I've tried out the Google Daydream headsets, as well as the uh, Samsung Gear, and they're good, but they were limited because of the format they're in. There's only so much you could do with a cell phone game. So, I'm really interested to see how it is. Um, I've got the Resident Evil uh, 7, right? Yeah, 7. So... That's really neat. I've played it before, but I've never played it in VR, and I could just imagine how crazy that's going to be. But without getting too much into it, we're going to open these up, take a look at what's inside, unbox it all, and within a week or two, probably more like three weeks, I will have my impression of how the system performs and if it's worth it for you guys to pick up. So make sure you're subscribed and have those notifications turned on so you'll know exactly when that video hits. All right, let's take a look. Okay guys, so I figured we'd start off with the, uh, the gun here because it'll be easier to unbox and quicker. Uh, first of all, these are some of the games I picked up. I've beaten this game before, but I never played any of the DLC on it, so that will be fun. And I just know it's a pretty spooky game to play on a TV. It should be insane in the VR. Um, then Paranormal Activity Lost Soul. This is only sold at Best Buy and was on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up. Another pretty spooky one. And something a little bit different is The Invisible Hours, which is a newer title, and it's kind of like a murder mystery thing. A little slower paced, more e exploration, so should be interesting. And of course, Farpoint. I uh, got the bundle because for only $20 more you get the game, and the game still sells for close to full retail. So it makes more sense if you're going to get the gun, just get the game too, because I've heard good things about the game. So uh, let's go ahead and get this open. Sometimes I wonder how they come up with the ideas of these boxes because it's almost like origami. And another box within a box. There we go. The game is inside of this box. I can see it. There we go. Full actual disc. I'm one of those guys that I don't have a problem with digital, but if I can, I'd rather have physical because at least down the line, I could trade it in or give it to a friend, so there we go. And then your paperwork, which is usually pretty useless. And here we go. It's about the size I thought it would be. I know they had a more rifle looking one back in the PlayStation 3 days. And I like it. Um, it looks neat. Feels really good. You've got your L1 and L2 buttons here. You've got, I didn't even realize this, you have a directional pad up here. And a joystick up here, your direction pad, share button, options. Really, really nice. It's very well made. R1 and R2, PlayStation button. Yeah, I like this. And it's not too heavy either, even though it is pretty big. Um, yeah, I, I like that quality. This will be fun to try out. This is uh, uses rechargeable. It's a rechargeable battery in here. I have the Collective Mind scan, uh, Collective Mind stand, and uh, I'll use that to charge this. Um, speaking of which, I wonder if this came with a cord or not. I don't think it did. That would be really crazy. Yeah, so that that's crazy. They couldn't even go the extra mile to give you a USB cord. I know a lot of companies don't give you a um, wall adapter anymore, which sucks, but I can I could deal with that. But to not even get the USB cord, you know, yeah, I have 10,000 of them, but it's still, that's, it's like when they used to sell systems without the wires to connect them to your TV. So that I'll knock it for. Quality-wise, I like it. I'm going to enjoy using this, but um, yeah. Come on, give me a water, damn it. All right, let's get into the uh, meat and potatoes of it. 
uh, right away you got that little plastic. I guess this will help to lift it out. Success. And then we gotta pull that off. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Quick start guide. Pretty much explaining everything you get in here. The HDMI cable necessary, USB cable, AC adapter, AC power cord, the headset, um, stereo headphones. That's cool. I have the uh, gold headset, which has the 7.1 surround sound, so I'll be using that. But it's neat to know that they gave you some uh, head little, you know, that'll get you by stereo headset. So that's cool. Uh, the processor unit, which even I think with the Pro, you still need the processor unit because it's so uh, labor-intensive. And printed materials. And uh, shows you how to connect the stuff to the headset, the, uh, the earbuds. Then how to get into your TV. PlayStation camera, which I like this bundle because I didn't have the camera, so this gives me the camera. I had to go. You don't need the PlayStation Move controllers. But I wanted them for certain things, so I went ahead and picked them up for this. It's funny because I got this on sale and then I ended up spending so much money on games and accessories that it was like playing at full price anyways. So that's really it. It's just about how to set it up. Um, maybe I'll talk about that more in the follow-up video, but it, I like this. It didn't have to be this huge, this manual, but I, I like the fact that it is because so many times you get a manual this size and you need a magnifying glass to read it. So cool there cleaning cloth that never probably gets taken out of this at least for me it doesn't uh a, a little tiny one like i was saying instruction manual for the camera but that's that the demo disc 2.0 which was I, I was hoping they had because they had an original one and a new one and this is the newest demo disc so there is a lot of titles on here as you can see hopefully it goes into focus there we go Battle Zone, Dino Frontier, E Valkyrie, Fantastic Contraption, Job Simulator, Moss, which I've been hearing a good a lot of good stuff about Moss, Reds Infinite, Star Child, the Persist the Persistence, Thumper, Tiny Tracks, Raw Data, and Starblood Arena, which is funny because that's the one last game I'm waiting. I got it like for really, really, really cheap on GameStop used. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. So really going to enjoy uh, trying out some of these things. And in case you guys were wondering, it doesn't have to be a VR game to play on the VR headset. It can be movies. It can be regular games. And they just appear, as I, as I understand, on a big screen in front of you. So that's cool, too. It has more than just the use of the limited games that are out right now. And here's another instruction manual. These are mostly precautions, nothing really of interest. Um, here is the PlayStation camera. These have been out for years, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing one in person. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, I know they make a privacy shield for the lenses if you believe that they can be hacked, but uh, I've never heard of that. But, I mean, they go for $8 online. Even I was thinking of picking them up just in case. And supposedly you can also use this to stream when you're playing games in, like on Twitch or something. But uh, that's cool. Nicely made, it feels like. Uh, power adapter. Standard power adapters. Uh, USB cable. Power brick. I'm thinking this is probably a mount to mount the camera. Yeah, mount the camera on the back of your TV. I'm interested to see how this actually works, if it'll work for me. If not, I have one of those uh, third party, I think, forget, it's some kind of company called Froggy that has a stand. I used to use it for my Kinect, so if this doesn't work for keeping it up on my TV, because my TV has a very narrow bezel, it's a Samsung, but this might just work because it has a lot of... Uh, of uh, flexibility to it. I like that. And another uh, HDMI cord. Here is the processor box. This is neat because it's about the size of the Super Nintendo Classic I have, which I packed away for the moment. So this will fit right between my Xbox and PlayStation perfectly. And it has where you plug it in, and this is what gives your system the extra boost to be able to play these games. 
So that's cool. Uh, and there's the earbuds. We'll go ahead and take a look at these. They have the different kind of ear, ear attachments, so if they fit your ears. And then we have plugs into the uh, headset. So the way the, these plug in, they're only going to be able to be used for this because you couldn't plug these into your controller and use them because look at that. It's meant to be right by your head. They're almost like those around neck earbuds. But um, for what they are, they're decent. If you don't have a gold headset, uh, these will do. But um, if you do, I would suggest you use those because that's going to be more immersive. Uh, you know, you're already in VR. Why not have surround sound? So if you've got the money to do it, get yourself that gold headset to have along with this. And I also believe they're coming out with a new one. So if you can wait and research that, if you get the newest type, it's been a couple years since they released a new gold headset. Let's see here. Uh, now this is where it's going to get a bit difficult because everything's going to be attached, I believe. Grab it like that. I don't think there's anything left. Oh, Doom VR. I'm really looking forward to this. I could have got the the Skyrim bundle, but I'm more. This is more what I would think would be awesome in VR, and I can't wait to tell you guys how this actually plays and how it is. All right, I'm thinking that's probably it. Yeah. So this is the headset here. Make some room. it out here we go got your little PlayStation logos on the side it's smaller than I thought it would be um, when you see it in pictures you always think this front piece is huge it's big don't get me wrong I love how padded this is in the back that's got a real good material to it and uh, all in all it's really well made everything that comes in contact with your face is nice and soft although I'm not sure if I would have rather some some more padded areas for the face I know on the daydream headset it was a more padded and that was comfortable this is mostly just rubber but um you know what uh, your head is going to actually be touching this section here this will just be resting with those headsets the strap was here so it was pushed against your face so that's actually going to be probably fine enough there really well made I love the, this type of plastic, it, it feels strong, and there's some adjustment here I think in the, but uh, really nice, and uh, actually, I like these little details PlayStation does, here's their button symbols, if you look on the bottom of a PlayStation 4, the feet of the PlayStation 4 are these symbols, so they always kind of throw in little things like that, so that's kind of cool. Um, all together, that's a really cool looking set. I'm really psyched to try it out. And in a few weeks, I will tell you guys how it is. All right, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you can, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Subscribe and make sure those notifications are on so you know when I do my new videos. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at edgelimited13. Um, I'm always doing things about my videos, but plus I also sh uh, post a lot of tech bargains I find. So it's a good place to keep an eye on. So edgelimited13 at Twitter and Instagram. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.